right from the get-go with Jumanji The Next Level, it was important for us to raise the stakes. And right away, the game's broken. And so you know, things aren't gonna be the way they're supposed to be. Um, and the minute you get pulled into the game and you aren't able to select your avatar, you know you're in for a crazy ride. So you don't know what body you're gonna end up in. Now the game's all twisted up. And the challenge is, when you're expecting to go in, you know, our characters thought, oh, we got this. We beat the first thing. We just gotta grab the jewel, pull it in the, in the Panthers, in the Jaguar's mouth. We're good to go. Nope, the game's busted and the game's evolved and now it's harder. And just like any good video game, every level, there's a, there's, there's a new level of uh, a difficulty and challenge. And now our guys have to go to new places. There's a new big badass villain in our movie named Jurgen the Brutal, uh, who makes Bravestone look a little small, which is hard to do. Um, thank you, Rory McCann, for only you bringing that kind of thunder. But uh, all the stakes are much higher, and for us, that was important. No matter how big the spectacle is, how big the wish fulfillment is, and there's mandrills, and there's ice-capped mountains, and there's deserts, and, and superpowers, um, what really makes these hearts, these movies resonate is the heart, is, the, is ultimately the story of, you know, buried in there, two best friends who've kind of lost their way, but they have 40 years of history together, them finding their way back to each other. Um, Spencer finding that confidence again to reconnect with his love in Martha. You know, there's, there's, it's the heart always that makes these movies resonate. So for us, we always have fun doing these great set pieces and the action and the beauty and it's beautifully shot and making sure everyone laughs. But if you don't keep drilling down to heart and if at the end of the movie, if you're not truly feeling that emotion, then we're not doing our job as storytellers. So that's always priority number one. We went all over the place and where the first movie was based in the jungle and this movie we're in the mountains, we're in snow, we're in the desert, um, we're in forests. We cover all the terrain to give you an idea of just how big the Jumanji universe is for us. And as a production, it was very exciting and very challenging where, um, you know, we shot a lot in Atlanta, but then we took the show on the road and for about five, six weeks, we were in Calgary, we were in New Mexico, we were in Glamis, uh, we were in California, we were all over the place just expanding the scope because the beauty of Jumanji is that Jumanji has multiple universes and there's multiple versions of this game in terms of our creature design, in terms of the locations we go, and just in terms of the overall size of this movie. It is huge and it is big and it is fun and that's something you're only going to be, experience, uh, be able to experience in a theater.